And then when I finally learned how to trade, years later, not months later, not a couple weeks later, not 120 days, not 90 days or one week boot camp, it took years because I have a lot of character flaws that I still wrestle with. And until I learned how to master myself, I could not master my trading. I had to get out of my way. And I didn't realize for a long time that I was the issue. I was the problem. I was the very thing keeping me from finding consistency. But I would argue and insist it was something else. It was the system I was using. It was broken. Let me go buy another book, another course. It had to be something other than me. And that's the trick. That's the fallacy that educators like to take advantage of because there's a constant flow of new suckers. Like P.T. Barnum said, there's one born every minute. So when I talk to you in this capacity, there is no PayPal link. There's no donations. I don't want to do premiere videos anymore because people started giving me money. I don't want that. I don't want anything from you except for your story. I want you to tell me what you did with it and that you were protected the wrong things with it. And if you are able to do well, that you share your story with me, that how you helped somebody else. You know, maybe, you, maybe you lent somebody a helping hand by you know, paying their mortgage because they lost their job. You know, that, that type of stuff has a, an eternal reward. Plus, it feels amazing. They can't afford groceries. They're down and out. And you buy them a month's worth of it. That feels better than just winning in a trade. I'm telling you, folks, if you do these types of things, it's infectious. Like, it makes you feel good about being who you are. And people love you for that. They love you for that. And that's what we need more of that. Not... I want to stand out on social media and be looked up to as a hero. I don't want any of you looking at me like that. But I do want you to listen to me because the things I'm talking about, I believe they're going to help you and not harm you. I don't sell you millionaire dreams. I tell you that if you do what I say you're going to do, should do rather, you'll do well. And that is defined by the limitations you place on yourself. You can make it as much as you want. Or if you just want to make your ends meet, that's what I think is the most reasonable thing to do. If you can find a way to make your largest expense each month through your speculation, to me, that's rich. Because your major expense, the one that cripples you if you don't have your total hours worked at your job or your second job or your wife or husband working with you as a second income if that doesn't happen you can't make that major expense each month so your ends don't meet but if you have that major expense each month covered in your speculation man imagine that forget Lamborghinis okay forget Corvettes forget living a jet set life forget that Start by making ends meet. I have a lot of students that aren't millionaires, but they don't work anymore. Do you think they're looking at Monday and groaning to their soul? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Saturday's already started, and it means I only have today and Sunday, and then I got to go back to Monday again. They look forward to Monday. Because they know that they're not chained to the desk. They're not chained to their boss's limitations of when and how they can do something at the prostituted rate of return in exchange for their services to that employer. I mean, maybe y'all like being prostitutes. Maybe that's what you want to stay doing. You want to be pimped out by your employer and tell you you got to work the corner. Monday through Friday and you'll get a vacation when they say you have a vacation and you're not going to make any more money but you better start doing more tricks because the workload's increased 
and the staff has been reduced. So the Johns are all your responsibility. Maybe that analogy is a little too crude, but guess what? That's how I view working for other people. I don't have a pimp. And to me, if anybody just says, I'm going to just live my life living for my employer, you're cheating yourself. You're cheating your spouse, your significant other, your children. But how can you get to that level of wealth? Notice I said earlier, if you just have your major expense each month covered in your speculation, that's rich. You're a rich person if you can do that. Because 98% of those individuals that you see passing you by each day, they can't do that. They don't even have an understanding that this can be done. Remember the first time you talked to somebody about Forex? Huh? What's a Forex? <laughs> what do you mean you can make money by touching your screen and all of a sudden it just goes in your account? How, how can that happen? Where's it coming from? Whose money did you take? Is this legal? <laughs> yeah. So it's to me, it's amazing when I sit down with someone for the first time and explain to them what I've been doing my entire life. And they're like, how's that possible? <laughs>